So we know from our last video that OnePlus 9 Pro held its ground against the iPhone incredibly well, and if you didn't see that video, definitely go check it out. But in today's video, I want to compare the S21 Ultra up against the OnePlus 9 Pro since a lot of you guys have been asking me about it. And how did I get the S21 Ultra? Well, I got bullied into doing so on TikTok. By the way, if you guys want to follow me on TikTok, here it is. Go follow me. It's a fairly new account. And I post a lot of stuff on there that doesn't really make it to here on YouTube. I've been using the S21 Ultra for three days now, and it is a beast of a phone. I mean, I, I, listen, I don't, even, I don't even have words to describe the phone. I had the S21. I'm like, all right, it's all right. I don't really need to get the Ultra. I got the Ultra, and I'm like, man, I've been missing out. <laughs> As always, I'm not really going to be commenting during the photos because I want uh, you guys not to be influenced about what I have to say. I want to hear your own personal thoughts and opinions on which phone uh, you like best. In my opinion, both do trade blows left and right. Uh, in some photos, the S21 Ultra does best, and in others, the OnePlus 9 Pro does best. But I will say this though, I really do appreciate the more true-to-life colors that the OnePlus 9 Pro offers. But anyway, I'll shut up and let you guys decide, and then we'll move on to the video test. So guys, right now we are recording in 4K60, walking down a slight hill. It doesn't look hilly because videos suck when it comes to showing terrain, but it's a pretty hilly down slope. Uh, which one is doing the stabilization? I know the OnePlus uh, stabilization is insane how good it is. And I honestly don't even know what the S21 stabilization looks like yet. Um, because I, did, I didn't really take that many videos during the three days except right now. But from what it looks like on screen, both are doing pretty good. What about that HDR? Which phone is covering the dark sides of the, uh, the bushes and the trees as well as the bright sky in the background? Honestly, both look, I want to say identical, but I'm not too sure. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this one right here. And now we are doing 4K 60 on the ultra wide camera. So what do you guys think about this one right here? Let's go ahead and take a walk. Now I've said this before. What the hell is that? I just heard someone run. I'm out of here. Um... Okay, I think we're good. Oh, it's a damn squirrel. Come on, bro. Um, as I was saying, the, the, uh, the OnePlus 9 Pro is limited to 5 minutes of 4K60. So I think that's a little bit childish, especially in 2021. Especially for a $1,000 phone. I mean, that's just insane. So now we are doing 3 times crop on the S21 Ultra and 2 times crop on the OnePlus because that's... Um, basically the all you can do on the oneplus when it comes to actual zoom um, options um, oh god squirrel you always freaking me out chill it definitely the, the oneplus is definitely way more smooth and stable again the stabilization on the oneplus is uh, just crazy and it looks like on the screen the the s21 right now is kind of blowing out the uh, the brights on the sidewalk and in the background where the trees and grass are Meanwhile, the uh, the OnePlus, um, oh, it's actually giving me a warning that the temperature is too hot. <laughs> uh, but the OnePlus is uh, is uh, bringing out those uh, that, that that HDR perfectly in this situation. I'm gonna stop recording before the OnePlus explodes. So now both phones are recording in portrait video. Um, the S21 portrait video looks insane, and I honestly don't know what it looks like on the S21 because again, I've only had it for three days, guys. Give me a break. 
Um, so which one's doing the better job? It's really hard to hold the phone this way because you can only use the rear cameras and I don't know if I'm even in frame. I could be totally off. Uh, so do not give me a thumbs down. <laughs> All right, I'm getting out of here before the squirrels eat me alive, okay? The OnePlus also has something called Nightscape Video, which is basically night mode for video. Um, unfortunately, that does limit to 1080p 30, so I did switch the S21 Ultra to 1080p 30 as well, just to keep things fair. Uh, but I don't really have to say anything because the, the difference is quite obvious. I mean, you can literally read what the box says on the S20, or uh, I'm sorry, on the OnePlus, pretty fair. And on the S21, it's, it looks like there's ants crawling all over the place because there's so much noise. Uh, my cat is black as hell, so there's no way you're seeing any detail on him on both phones. He He's my, he's my homie, though. I love him. Um, but that just goes to show you guys the technology for night video is insane already, and it's only going to get better as time goes on. So what did you guys think? Personally, in my opinion, I think when it comes to zooming, the S21 Ultra obviously blows the OnePlus 9 Pro out of the water. Again, obviously, I think we all seen this coming. But when it comes to ultra wide photos, I really do like the OnePlus 9 Pro better. In fact, I it basically is better. It's, it's more sharp and just more pleasing to look at. When it comes to the standard 1X focal length, again, both trade blows left and right. Sometimes the OnePlus look better, sometimes the S21 Ultra look better. But I will say this though, if you guys have been following me for quite some time, you would know that I don't really care about zoom lenses because I just don't really take that many zoom photos. But the photos that you guys saw, I went on a little road trip, so I did take like 100% more photos in zoom than I normally would because I normally just don't care about zoom. But I did this time because the S21 Ultra just looks so good when you're zooming in. It's incredible, even at 30x. In my opinion, 10x is the sweet spot. 10x is, is I mean, incredibly sharp. 30x, you can still see a ton of details, but it's going to be a little bit more soft. Um, but I mean, yeah, you guys have to understand 30x is quite of a distance to go and still look good. So uh, the S21 Ultra's approach to that, awesome. As for the colors, I do like the OnePlus 9 Pro colors a lot more simply because it's more true to life. It's more of exactly what I'm looking at when I'm doing the photos. That's not to say the S21 Ultra's colors look bad. It's just not for me. It's not my kind of style. It, it's, a, it's a little bit more saturated than, than what I would like. Uh, for example, grass just looks extra green. The sky looks extra blue. Um, sometimes uh, if you're photographing a building that has red bricks uh, or like brown bricks, it, uh, whenever you take a photo with the Samsung, it looks like it's a red brick and like very just bright and, and kind of in your face. Again, a lot of you guys might like that. You know, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's not for me. So anyway, this video is over. If you guys want a full review, definitely leave me a comment down below telling me you want uh, me to do a full review. The phone's been out for quite a while now, so I don't know if, I don't, I don't know if people are still interested in full reviews of the phone. Uh, but anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely leave a like down below. And if you're new here, well, consider subscribing. This was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.